Gun Venture is brought to you by Pauly Case Springfield Armory and Sig Sauer. At Smith & Wesson's plant in Springfield, Massachusetts, they forge, cut, mill, and assemble guns for America. You know, the level of sophistication on this equipment has become really incredible these days. You know, in the past, you take a look at the tooling on here, and you'll see back there on the screen, you can see this, an image of this chuck in this tool bit here. But uh, in the past, the guy running the machine, he would have had to load the tool into this chuck on this collet here. And then he would have had to put it in the machine, he would have had to run a piece, he would have to take that piece out, check it, eventually make some adjustments, run another piece, make some adjustments until he had it inspect where we want it. Today, these things are so sophisticated, he'll load this tool into this chuck, he'll put it on that machine, it'll take all the critical dimensions of that tool that's on there, and it actually loads it in onto this computer chip right here. So when they put this chuck into that machine, it reads all those critical dimensions. And that first piece that comes off the machine is right there and perfectly in spec. There's no adjustment to be made. There's no scrap. There's no rework. You know, and that's just part of what we do in the level of sophistication that gives you a better product. You know, quality is such an important thing for Smith & Wesson. And we, we really truly strive to have very, very, very tight tolerances for our products. You know, in years past, you know, we had tolerances that were pretty wide. Today, tolerances are plus or minus a tenth of the thousandth. One of the things that we do here to maintain those tight tolerances is just a machine like this. This is a CMM, computerized measuring device. And you can see here what this machine's doing is it's measuring all the critical dimensions. Right now, it's checking the rails on the slide. In years past, we would have had something that would have been a bar gauge. I would have slid into the rails. And it was a simple go, no go gauge. You'll see this thing reading dimensions on that one little rail area there, maybe 30 or 40 spots. That's just some of the things that we do to maintain those tight tolerances to really ensure that we have the best quality product that we possibly can. Here we are out at the MMP assembly area. This is kind of a really interesting format in how they do this. And you look at this, and it's, you know, we call it an assembly line, but realistically, it's a quality check line. One of the things that we do here, as you go through and you look at this, uh, you'll see each individual is actually doing their, their, their component, their piece of the, of the assembly. But what's pretty interesting is that when they pass it on, the next guy in line will check what they did in, in the thing that the person did before them. So as it goes through there, there's multiple inspection points. And all that's meant to make sure that we have the, the highest quality pistol going out that door for you, the consumer, so that when you pick it up, you know it's a piece you can rely on. We're out here at the MMP rifle assembly area. And very much like pistols, uh, we, we do this in an assembly process where there's you know inspection after each step of the way. So they're continuously doing inspection, checking it. Now the MP rifle, you know, uh, we haven't had it out for a tremendously long time in comparison to what a lot of AR style rifles been out there. But very quickly, it has become one of the most popular rifles out on the market today. And a lot of that is simply because of the quality that goes in here. They're all mill specs when you get down to uh, the reality of it. So what do we do better? We have tighter tolerances on machining and we have much more quality inspection going into the assembly process as well as out on the range, everything gets test fired. All that means is a higher quality product and something that's ready to go out of the box to the range for a good time. Every m and 15 rifle is bore sighted using lasers and a trained eye. When you take it out of the box, it should be hitting on paper, ready for the final adjustment at the range. Coming up, time to go old school. There's no need for a huge press when the forging's being done by an artisan knife maker. Ryan checks it out. 